Hello friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And today I wanted to talk a little bit more about OPSEC. And we did a video, Patrick and I actually did a whole series called Tough Topics for Discussion. And I think there was four or five videos in that whole series where just the two of us sat down and talked about some various things. And one of the videos within that series was on OPSEC. The funny thing about that series is it started off with just one video called, what are you gonna do when they come knocking? And then it led into a whole series. So if you watch the first video, you may have missed the rest of the series that went along with that because that first video opened up more discussions that I think are important topics to talk about now. And here's another funny thing is those videos came out before our current situation that we're in now. And so I recommend you check out the whole series, which I will link to in the description box down below. Don't forget to click on either show more right down here below my channel name or that little gray triangle that you'll see right down here on this corner if you're on a smart device to open up the description box and see all the links that we put in there. So I had recently someone who commented on one of my videos and wanted to link me to another channel's video about why you should stop showing your preps. And I didn't have to watch it, I didn't need to, and knowing this particular channel, I'm positive I know what they said, and I understand that. And here's the thing though, any of us channels that are out here doing videos about preparedness and homesteading, we're already revealing what we do. We don't have to show everything that we have in order to, re to give people an idea that yes, we do food storage. Yes, we have prepping related items. Now, what we choose to show and not show is going to be different for each of us. And yes, there are certain things that Patrick and I decide to keep to ourselves. That's between us and we don't feel like sharing it with the whole world and no we don't show all of our food storage now i'm i do a lot of videos about sh food storage i do show some uh selected photos of our food storage yes i realize i'm putting myself at risk by showing it but i put myself at risk by talking about it anyway because that is what i'm called to do here and if i can't show and demonstrate and and you know, for example, showing how I stack my jars and I have a video just on how I stack my jars and why I can do it safely and why it's not totally taboo and against all the rules. People who are learning need to see, not just hear people ramble, but need to be able to see how things are done because people all learn in different ways. We have people that are audio learners who can, I can just sit here and talk and that's good enough for them. There are people that are more visual though that need that visual learning. Well, and a lot of us like all of the above. I know I do. I like to see things visually as I'm more of a visual learner than I am an audio learner, unless you're talking about music. As I, we talked about in our OPSEC video, a lot of people, you know, yes, OPSEC is important, but it kind of goes hand in hand with, will you help people? And which was what started the whole topic off. You can go watch our videos on that to, to learn where we stand as far as that issue. And that has to be a household by household decision. And no one should be trying to make someone else feel guilty about the hard work they've put into their own preparations and their selection of people that they're going to have be a part of their lifeboat. And I'll throw this in real quick. We're each gonna have our lifeboat limit and the amount of people we can take into our lifeboat is going to vary. Too many people in a lifeboat will sink it and everyone dies. For us, we have to have a limit on who we can help and take in. We cannot take everybody in. I don't think anybody can take everybody in. And so, unless you, know, you live in a, an unending mansion that has room for your whole town, and that you happen to have put up stores for everybody in your whole, whole town. I just don't see that being personally a, something that everyone can and should do. 
But I also believe that God has set, and, and for I know not everybody that follows me are, are Christians or believe in God, but please bear with me. This is who I am. This is where my faith is, and it is going to be a part of my channel. And, you know, you can always just ignore it or find a way to take what I'm saying and apply it to your own personal faith and beliefs. But if you are called, either by God or otherwise, to be there to pass out food to people and take in anyone that uh, comes to your door, if that is what God has called you to do, that is what you're led to do, then do that. If that, that is your calling, I cannot argue against that. And I would have faith then that, that God is going to protect you and only bring to you the people that you will help. And I'm not saying we will or won't help people. And generally speaking, I don't think any of us can strongly say one way or the, the other that we're absolutely not going to help anybody or we're going to help everyone because I think each situation is going to be different according to the actual disaster at hand or how big it is. Because Patrick and I have no problems helping people right now, but in a total grid down situation when life is hard for everyone, there are only going to be so many that we can, we can help. So that comes back to the topic of this video where my faith is because God has called us, and th this is firmly what I believe, to teach people. I believe this is my job. I am here to teach people to and to encourage people to look out for their own futures and their family's future and whoever else it is that God has called them or that they feel led to take care of. And in order to do that, we have to have means and I am one of the many, there's many great channels out there that teach and they have, and we're all going to find our different little um, ways of doing things that everybody can learn from. Like somebody might come to my channel and get a little piece of information from me that they're going to put, that they're going to implement. And then that same person might go over to Mary's nest and find a different piece of information that they can, that's going to suit them in that area. And then that same person can go over to Danny and Wanda's channel or all the many other channels that are Doug and Stacy and find different things that are going to apply to them and their needs and the best way to prepare themselves for whatever life may throw their way. So that is why I do what I do here. That is why I do show some of our preps and talk about some of our preps. And I have all kinds of different series. I have one on the my purses. I have a couple of different purses I carry in various different sizes. And then I have the go bag that we keep in the rig. I, I did a seven part series just on that so I could break it down into little parts. And I will link to that whole series down below and to give people ideas of what to consider to carry with them for either everyday carry or to keep in their rig for whatever may happen. And I still did not show everything for certain reasons. There are certain things that we are going to choose to keep to ourselves, but I'm also going to share with you as much as I can that I believe is going to be valuable to you and each individual person. And again, Coming back to my faith, since I believe this is what God has called me to do, then I also believe that, you know, even when I am hesitant about certain things and I, I just feel that check on my spirit that, no, I need to share this because somebody really needs this information, then I go ahead and take that chance and put myself out there, knowing I'm putting myself at risk for other people that are just looking for someone to take advantage of. But I do it for the sake of helping others that I know need it. And that is my desire and has been for years, ever since I got on this path. I had a strong desire to reach people. I tried to reach my family. I tried to reach some close friends. Most of those chose not to listen. So in that case, I still love them dearly, but I basically had to just shake the dust off my feet and move on to the people that really needed and wanted the information I had to share. And so that is why I moved, I went from just 
trying to preach on Facebook to family and friends to starting a YouTube channel, knowing that the people that needed the information I had to share were going to be led to my channel. And I believe that's one of the reasons why some people say you should have a lot more subscribers than you do. Well, here again is where my faith is. Um, I think I think we're doing pretty good, even though, yes, we've had our channel for about four and a half years at the time I'm shooting this video. Some people have blown up within six months and have 100,000 subscribers. We're at this point, we're still not to 100,000. You know what? That's perfectly fine because all along the way, through this journey of putting up a channel, first of all, I never thought I'd make it to 10,000. I figured I'd just reach a small handful of people and whoever it was, great. At the time I'm shooting this, I'm getting close to 90,000 subscribers. That right now is where God wants me. God has, I feel that the people that need the information I have to offer are the ones that are here. I don't need a bunch of people that don't need what the information I have. And, and to touch again on that, this information by keeping it here on YouTube is free to everyone. Everyone gets to come in here and glean something from it. And if they don't like it, they didn't waste any money to get the information. This is why I don't like having, though I have a Patreon account, I won't charge for any information that's there. If people want to donate, that's fine, but I never ask it or require it for anything I put on Patreon, which <laughs> at this time is not very much because I go back and forth. Sometimes I, I decided to try to limit fa uh, Patreon to when I actually type up a recipe because <laughs> I don't do that very often. But when I type up a recipe with the ingredients, I'll post it over to Patreon and give people a place where they can go find that. And it's free. You don't have to donate money because how Patreon works is each each person can choose to set up the individual post to be public to everyone or have some of their locked down for only certain groups of people. My ours isn't like that, it's open to everyone. But anyway, um, this is my ministry. I want to offer information that people can get for free. And if I can also at the same time earn an income off of the very many hours of time I put into doing this, then that helps me to be able to continue putting up food stores and other types of prep items that we're working on for ourselves. And so it's it's really a win-win. And I did talk about this and why I won't be switching over to certain other, other video platforms at this time. But if God leads me elsewhere down the road, something happens and I have to leave YouTube, then maybe I'll consider that. But for this time, this is where I am and I will show what I feel led to show and trust God because I have faith in him to protect us as well as our own means of protection. And I know that he will also lead to us the people that we need to help as he's done through the years up till now. And that's where our faith is. But also know for those people that keep asking me to do, oh, I wanna see a whole tour of your pantry. No, I'm sorry, that will not happen because of that other reason so i'm trying to find this balance of sharing what you need to know and holding back what i think you don't because we do have to keep certain things to ourselves just to protect our own privacy and our own situation and what you choose to do has got to be entirely up to you and your immediate family who's working with you to prepare for whatever life is gonna throw your way, whether it be your spouse or your siblings or friends. So we just gotta respect each other and, your, and our decisions and why we do what we do because our reasons for doing things the way we do or why we do the things that we do are going to be as diverse as we are people we all are very different and unique and that is the way it's meant to be and there shouldn't be anyone that does everything exactly the way i do you're gonna have your own needs and your own reasons for doing the way you do the things you do i'm only here to share with you how i do it my way is not the only right way <laughs> not everything i do is is the right way for you and I have no problem saying that. And so just just glean what works for you and, and throw away the rest. And I'm not offended by that, by the way. Okay, well, I hope you found this video helpful. And again, make your decisions according to what is best for you and what you decide to share, what you decide to store, and who you decide to take in when the time comes. All right, well, thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.